okay? A lot of things are happening on your worst day, okay? A lot of work, a lot of things are happening Bubba, on your worst no. day to help you as much as possible. Sit down. Get the medical attention that you need. Hey, hey, then. Accident leave, just the, leave the food alone. We have to cut you out of a car. A number of things have happened at this point. Police have been called. Fire has been called. Medical has been called. Possible hospitals that you need help at have been called, okay? We have what's called a golden hour rule. Our goal is to get you from the accepted call all the way to the hospital and trauma care within one hour. That means we have to, no matter what situation we roll up on, we have to be able to take you from that situation and get you where you need to go. So this has to happen very carefully, but it has to happen very, very quickly. Okay? These gentlemen are wearing full bunker gear for their protection. There's a lot of fuel on the ground. Your car may be full of Sorry. different batteries that uh, new technology has brought us to. There may be electrical currents going through these cars. They may still be live. Okay? Keep fuel on the ground. We always put a hose on the ground to make sure any sparks fire or fire, then we can put it out pretty quick. Because most of the time you're jammed into that car for whatever reason. Okay? A couple of misnomers. A couple of misnomers. Don't sit so close to the steering wheel. You will get hit by the airbag. Okay? The goal is for you to fall into the airbag, not get hit by the airbag. If, you're, if your hips are sitting so close because your seat's pulled all the way up, guess what's going to hit in a head-on collision? Your knees are going to hit the dash, and you're going to have a lot of back problems. Sit as far away from the steering wheel as you can, okay? A couple of tips. Wear your seatbelt, kiddos. Mom and Dad, it's not their job. It is their job, but it's your job. Wear your seatbelt. It's going to save your life, okay? Now, help me root these firemen on. They're going to cut this car open in about 10 to 12 minutes. They're going to take the roof off, make it a nice little convertible. They're going to pull the dash so that the person's not pinned in, and then we can get you the medical care that you need, okay? If there's any questions, I'll take them at the end. Sorry about the audio. The uh, small, small motor here is going to be able to talk over me, but if you have any questions, hold them to the end, and we'll take them, okay? All right, let's root them on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah!
someone to the patient, start dealing with their medical needs, and then they're going to start cutting the car and getting them out. They're only going to do as much as they need to because we're working with that time constraint. We want to get you out, get you going. And Leave it alone, please. Okay. Uh, any questions? What's your song? That's a real car. It's a real car. It's been a real accident. We're still in there. 